Hey guys, what is up? So, um, we're not making a Minecraft video on the, um, Outlands 2X server because, um, well, basically since last time we played was, I think, maybe about two days, maybe even three days ago, uh, we had, someone raided our base and destroyed our cupboard and took of all, all of our loot. I tried making a video on restarting over five, maybe even four or five times, maybe. But every time I just kept getting killed, killed, you know, except killed, losing my loot, you know, repeated, repeated actions. So I just got sick of it. So we're going to be ma doing a series on a vanilla world because my computer cannot handle mods for some reason. Anyways, though, um... All I've really done so far was open the bonus chest, and we spawned near some bees, which is pretty cool, but I guess the basic thing we should just start off doing is chomp, pop, chopping some trees. Let's see, let's grab a bit of wood, you know? Alright, now. Maybe, I think we should make, kind of like, make a little hole for us, kind of like a small starter base, maybe. Plus, there's, I mean, I could live in this area, but it's kind of desolate. I want to find maybe like a village nearby to start a base. I kind of live in a desert. I don't know. I mean, I'm not really a fan of deserts because, one, um, I actually kind of like the Minecraft rain for some reason. Is there lava right Lava is like right under us. That's right under us somewhere. But no, I, I just won't worry about that right now. So, anyways, though, yeah, let's just you know get started. Um, we should make a maybe a starter, a little starter base. And not right here. Maybe in like a small little hill. Maybe over there. Yeah, right over here. We'll start. Actually, right here in this little hill. Not a bad area. Alright. Here we are. I've reached the Stone Age. Now, if the video gets a little bit laggy, that would be because, um, it's it's generating new chunks and my computer isn't like mate like like one for running java generally run bedrock and the other and other it doesn't run java as well basically so yeah it's just making a little starter base here I make a big dirt tower now we're not gonna be doing hardcore because i'm not as good as minecraft as some people i mean i'm pretty good at minecraft but not like super good like it's super good i'm okay at it so i guess we'll get started by making a crafting table this is actually my first time playing java too so that's a thing but we're making a small furnace wall there maybe bed right there pig i'm gonna mine up a little bit so i have a little bit of jumping room now the reason i'm yeah, actually, never mind, never mind. Oh, yeah, let's place that chest, too. Let's place a torch at our entrance. Torch up there. You know, maybe scattering some torches around on the outside, too. Just so it's a little easier to find my base if I'm at night time. There we go. Because it's kind of like, um insulated or isolated that's the word for it so what we're going to be making is a stone pickaxe there you go now oh. now this series is kind of be kind of be like laid back you know no real goal i mean how do i get the advancements there we go the advancements Okay, I guess you don't get the other stuff till you go to the areas. Anyways, though, you know, um, 
I guess we're gonna be trying to acquire maybe iron in this episode, I guess. Maybe, maybe a full set of iron, maybe this episode. So anyways, though, we're just gonna be kind of like getting like a uh, set up. Got ourselves a furnace. Furnace. Eh. Let's make a couple more, maybe. Oh, no. Not as good, okay? As Java as bedrock. So there's our two furnaces, one for food, one for the, you know, irons. And maybe um both of them could be for like iron smelting. But um it's already turning nighttime? What? That's crazy. Should probably make a door. Jungle logs. I'm actually not gonna convert those because they're kind of hard to get. The jungle biomes are very rare. The only time they're not really rare is if you spawn in it. And if you spawn in one, the entire world is mostly a jungle biome. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, though, there, here's our little home. I'm going to, um, cut to the next day. And, actually, while I'm at it, I might expand the base a little bit. I don't know. Maybe try and find some coal at the same time. Be right back. Alright guys, so it is now daytime. Um what we should know what we should do next. Um I think maybe get started on a farm. Some sugar cane over there. I kinda wanna get started on a big sugar cane farm to get a lot of paper. But then also we kinda need um wheat. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on a small farm, but for that, I mean I could do it near the water. Don't know really why I would. But I need a bucket. Well. Hey. You missed my sword swing. Drop me that three wool. You will not escape it. Three wool. Nice guys. So now that we have that, we can make ourselves a bed to skip nighttime. Cause no one likes nighttime. I think I might need to make a dirt tower. Gonna be honest, cause um, I don't know. I mean, I know where it is. But it's kind of hard to get to, you know. So do this. Alright, um, I also expanded the base a little bit, um, while I was waiting for nighttime to end. I, you know, made a, the wall of furnaces right here, you know? This ain't gonna be permanent base, but I'm making it, you know, work for now. So, I'm going to be, yeah, getting started on a small farm, so let's, I guess, craft a hoe. There we go. Got that one wheat seed. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna make a small tower of dirt. Just so it's a small bit easier to find my base. Not too high though. That should be about high enough. I completely missed. That was just sad. Oh well, um. So there's a little dirt tower for us to find our base, because it is kind of secluded behind a hill. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of easy to find. I need a map, though. Surprised we didn't spawn on the map. Interesting, because in the old version, of, like. Not really old, but like in the old, like Xbox One version. Uh, not Xbox One, the Xbox 360 version. You would always spawn on the map, no question about it. You always would. But like it was an option for you to not either. So, if you actually just probably put a small farm right over here, 
We need a shovel, don't we? Uh-oh, bit of lag. It's generating new chunks. Uh-oh. It's generating new chunks. Doesn't like it. Just make a new crafting table over here. Here's some sticks. Oh. Oh. Dropped it. There we go. Let's mine this area a little out a little bit here, over here. I'm gonna put a little mini little farm over here. Be nice. Eventually though, I kind of want to uh, find bees, but that will be like later in the game. Because I'll, uh, because they're really fun to like mess with sometimes. And I want to eventually make kind of like a conveyor belt. Because I think that would be cool. Alright, so... Not even a cave. There we go. Advancement made, a seedy place. So there's our mini wheat farm. The most efficient version of a wheat farm is a, you have to find a flat area of land, you know, clear all the grass. And you would need like um, one bucket of water, like right here. And like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, I think. And then one, two, three, four, then you place one here, then you just keep doing that. It's the most efficient way of doing a wheat farm. Because you save a lot of space. Uh, like you get a lot of it. A lot of space out of it. And you save a lot of time for the water. And also, um... Not sure what's wrong here, but um, it doesn't look right. Let's place this last seed that I happen to have. There we go. Now we got a seed over there. Got some wheat grown over there, so you know if I happen to run out of um like meat version of food, I can just go over there. So now the most efficient way I find of actually getting food is fishing. Because um if you have like a um lore Four, I think you can like fish catch fish catch like really very quickly and then if you have kind of like looting on a sword but it's like, oh I hate rain kind of makes it slightly dreamy see you can see it I hate rain I think I'm gonna make that bed because if it's a thunderstorm you can just skip it hey perfect amount of wood it's a white bed there we go. Oh, at least one point set now, though. So I guess we're gonna be working in the rain. Um, yeah, because it's. I think it's kind of like looting on a sword. Oh, didn't mean to do that. No, nope, not that either. Hmm. Isn't there usually like a thing over here in Java? Oh well. I guess it's only part of it in like mods or something. Interesting. Anyways, though, it's kind of like lore and a fishing rod. I forget what the enchantment's called. Um, hmm, interesting. Uh, I think it's, um, luck. I think it might be luck. You can get, like, really cool enchantments. Like, one time I've gotten a book with mending, um, feather falling four, and sharpness three on a book. It was really hard to choose who I was going to use the book for. Um, I think I used, ended up using on a sword. Because I'm falling for sharpness 3 and something else. <laughs> there we are. You can crouch very well. Alright, so. Now that we got a small farm going. Um, I don't know. Let's get some more seeds maybe. Here we go. Nope. Let's plant these sugar cane. go. 
There we go. Some sugar cane. Now. I think we're going to go for a little mining expedition. Is there any caves nearby? Because this, I'm just going to use that. I don't want to have to go strip mining. Anyways, if it is a cave, I don't want it to be like a small, like, like, small cave. I want it to be like one of those full-size caves. That wood? No, it wasn't. Wait, is it turning night? It's turning night! Now we can skip the rain. And skip the laggy, laggy frames. Here we go. There we go. Goodbye. Hey, not bringing me anymore. I mean, it kind of is. Let's get that up here. See what my. Hmm. What the heck? I've never actually used this before. Oh, no, that wouldn't be it. It would be F and F3. So I guess we can, um, well, we don't have any fuel, so we're going to have to go mining. I'll be right back when I find a cave. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, um... I, I, I just heard a spider, so I dug down, and I found, I think I found an actual cave. I kept coming across these small, like, you know, like, boring, like, small, like, kind of like, you know, starts going down. It looks like a real cave, but this ends up being kind of like a small block, like, four by four, I mean, two by two at the end. So... Yeah, we totally found an actual cave this time, though. And there's a lot of iron in it, too. So we're just gonna nab this up. And we're not gonna skip by any of it. Oh. Is this a blocked off part of the cave? Yes, yes, it was. Now I do not have any torches. So we're gonna have to be, you know, kind of like staying around this area. I did not. Whoa. It's a big cave. <gasps> that is a lot of creepers! And I just almost fell. I'm an idiot. Yeah, um... Just for my own safety. Just gonna do that. For my own safety. This is a total... Like, actual cave. Because, like... Oh, what? It's like 50 creepers down there. Look at that. Like, one, two, three, four. I think I saw like two more of them. There's that. Yeah, there's five and six, seven. It's a lot. Then another cave, another cave. And there's that one hidden cave over there. A lot of exploring to do. And a lot of iron. So I guess we'll just nab this up. I'm gonna be quick about it though, because we also need coal. I think I saw some other caves that had a little bit of coal. And I'm being really careful because the, the screen is like pitch black. Should probably turn up the gamma. Well, also known as brightness. Is that, is that coal? A skeleton. Can't tell. I don't think it's either. I think it's just stone. I see the iron now. The only reason I can actually kind of tell because iron is actually slightly brighter than all the other blocks in this cave. Because of the uh, white. Otherwise, it's, the, it's about say, as distinct as every other block in this cave. So, um, I think we're going to come back down here a bit more prepared, maybe with some torches. I'm gonna have to mark this area. With trusty old dirt. Oh, there's another cave, too. Don't know if that's a real cave, but... Oh, 
Oh, nope, didn't need to do that, but I guess that works. There we go, no fall damage, yay. I just have like a bucket of water on me at all times, so in all situations I have to just place a bucket of water. Bucket of water at the, when I'm jumping, so I don't take any fall damage. <sighs> That's pretty nice. So Jerry and I got 20! That's actually pretty good! a lot more iron than I actually thought I would have gotten. Anyways though, um, let's put that in there and make a quick run for coal. Uh, I think there was a small cave over here. It's like there wasn't even a cave, it's just like pretty much nothing. Yeah. Nope. It was not even hole down here. This is a bad cave. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna head back. I wanna skip the night. The cool thing in Minecraft would be like a chunk loader. Like you place a certain block that always has loads of that chunk. Even if you're like the character's like five like five kilometers away from that chunk. Be pretty that'd be pretty cool it's in certain mods like the um generator mod I forget what it's called but it's pretty cool it allows like so say um in the ice and fire mod dragon you want to have it grow but you can't be near it I'm not sure if it just grows anyways even if you're out of the chunk but if you have like a small cage for it to grow up into like a tier 5 dragon while you're gone, it's like a chunk loader, you just have it there so you don't have to AFK, AFK wait. But then again, you probably can't even AFK because um, you'd probably die to hunger eventually. I have to find coal. I just need like a small cave. I mean, that one cave probably has coal in it, but um, I'm not going near anywhere near those creepers. Because, um, I realized after, you know, I cut to basically when I found the cave, that I was not on hard mode, I was on normal, so I set it to hard and locked it in, so we can't change it. Why does it play those cave noises, even though I'm, like, on the, you know, beautiful sunny day, top of the world? It doesn't make sense. It just, I think it's just trying to, like, take, like, make me sad. Yo, that's a drop. Come on, put some coal. It's like 20 caves over here. Swore it out. There's nothing down here. I just need some coal. I mean, I could probably make charcoal, but why? Let's buy some coal. I go almost pitch black. Not seeing any coal, so I'm just gonna exit the cave and maybe just cut down some trees with some charcoal. Cause I at least need something. Maybe something's down here. Yes. Okay. No creepers. Wait, no creepers. I need this. Let's make a couple, at least just four torches. And let's put that in the offhand. You can place these, right? Nice! I love Java mode. <laughs> it's so much simpler than Bedrock, because, like, Like, it has more stuff than Bedrock. Because they just released the updates so much faster. Oh, gosh! If that was a ravine, I would've been dead. Hey, iron. I don't wanna fall down there. Iron. It wouldn't really make any difference if I fell, but still. It's like, why? Cause there's a creeper. That's why. Nope. 
Noping out of that. No, no. Forget about the iron. I hate creepers. I hate creepers. Then more than I want the iron. What's that over here? Oh, I need food. That ain't good. So there's eat raw flesh. Hey, it didn't give me the hunger this time. It's like a small chance in every time that you don't get the hunger effect. One sec, guys. I right, guess I'm back, so I just have to quick um put away a few things that I had out. Alright, um I am going to smelt this iron. Three more iron? How much does it take for a full set? One coal is eight, I think. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. There we go. I think it's like twenty-four for a full set, so we might have to go back down real quick. I guess we could. Well, that's smelting. I need more food. I have a bit more coal. I guess I, I could smelt up some food. There we go. Just wait for that real quick. Now, really, the only thing I wanted to accomplish this episode was get some iron. You know, maybe a chest plate this episode. Or just craft the entire set this episode. So then, you know, I'm kind of like the first stage of the game. You know, I have a good starting place for the next episode. Let's get that mutton. I think maybe next episode we'll be looking for an area that, like, you know, like, is a good area to put our house. You know? Alright, we got that food. We'll just let this smell up. Well, we're getting some more iron. Because I think we're, we have enough. I think it's like 24 for a set of iron. And then... Uh, 24 for a set. 29 for a full set of iron. And a pickaxe plus a sword. I think. Yeah. The, if my, my maths are correct. Oh, nice, some iron right here. And I think that's enough. I have 23 plus 4 is 7. So I just need uh, two more. Shouldn't be hard. Find it all. Iron. Wait, was that iron? I don't think so. I only have two torches, so I have to use them sparingly. I mean, not really. I could just craft a few more. Should probably chop some more wood down, but, you know, I'm in a cave right now. I don't see any iron down there, so I guess not going down there. There is literally coal right here. Oh my gosh. That's annoying. There's some iron right here, so we have enough now. So but we'll just finish up collecting this vein of iron. So now we definitely have enough iron. So let's head back up. Craft the entire set of iron in the um you know the sword and pickaxe and then that will pretty much be everything i wanted to do in this episode you know make a small source of food like a mini farm get a bed you know get a kind of like a a mole base mole hole kind of thing you know and then uh, get some iron that's all i really wanted to do so i guess i'll get started on crafting it is that everything? Nope, nope, no, nope. You're not stuck. Wait. I'm gonna have to put two more in. Alright, so. Do that. Do that, I think. Yeah, then you add this. Ah. 
we add these two. Interesting. Don't know why it does that. So then I need the, the chest plate. Oh, too long. Wait. There we go. Chest plate. Now I'll sew up. There we go. Styling. Nice. Wish you could dye armor. Like, you can dye leather. Wish you could dye, like, the um, iron specifically. Not diamond, because well, it's already colored, but, like, dyeing iron, because it's just, like, plain white. That'd be kind of cool. Then let's make that, um, let's go get wood first. Make it quick. Uh, let's say over there. Make it quick. A lot of spawn, zombies spawn in this mode, so don't want to stick around. Uh, no, I don't like those sounds because I'm above ground. And if that's above ground, that means there's a dungeon near me. And I know there's no dungeon near me because I'm literally in the grasslands, flat grasslands. I don't get why those sounds play above ground. It doesn't make sense. Now let's get in my base because I don't like the inside at night. <laughs> All right, so now we can craft some sticks. Eh, let's do that. We can craft torches too. There, do that. Then we do that, and then we just spend the rest of torches, I guess. There we go. Simplifies it a bit. And that's the rest of the iron. So I guess I'll just place the rest in there. So, um, and yeah, I'll just stuff the rest of that in there. There we go. That's nice. So guys, well, um, let's just sleep. All right. Well, guys, um. That is going to be the end of, well, this episode of, well, Minecraft. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. And, um, hit the notification bell and, uh, see you next time. Bye!